guys, Michael from Fire and Brilliance, and today we'll be talking about a subject that a lot of people see when they look at jewelry and they're about to buy jewelry, but they may not know exactly what it means. And what it is is metal purities, okay? So, for example, if you're to buy a, a white gold, yellow gold, rose gold ring, and you see a 14K, 10K, 10K, 24K, 22K, what does that actually mean, right? Uh, or if you were to buy platinum and palladium and you see a, a number that says 900 or 950, what exactly that, does that mean? Uh, so what we're going to do today is do some uh, basic math and kind of really break it down as to what that actually means, all right? So uh, just to give you kind of an overview, when you buy a a gold ring, uh, unless it's pure gold, they will have to mix it with specific metals, okay? Uh, so all the 14K or 900 basically means is a percentage of how much metal or the gold or platinum or palladium that actually exists in that piece of jewelry. All right, so for example, um, if you are to buy a 10K ring, all Pure gold starts at 24K, right? So, uh, so all you have to do is divide that number by 24 and then you'll get the percentage of gold in that specific ring. So regardless if it's white gold, rose gold, yellow gold, if it's a 10K white gold, 10K rose gold, 10K yellow gold, you get the number 10, you divide it by 24, then you'll get the percentage of gold on that sp uh, specific piece of jewelry, all right? Uh, so for example, 10K, if you divide it by uh, 10 divided by 24, uh, then that will be 41.6% of gold. Uh, and the same goes with 14K. Uh, if you get 14 divided by 24, uh, then that will be at 58.33%. Uh, uh, and the same with 18K. So 18 divided by 24 is 75%, uh, and so on and so on. So 22K, 22 divided by 24 is 91.66%. And then of course, uh, if 24K is 100%, 24 divided by 24 would be 100%, all right? Um, so again, the reason why it's broken down like this is because not all jewelry is made of 100% pure gold or pure platinum or pure palladium. It is mixed with other metals such as nickel, uh, such as copper. Uh, so, you know, in terms of wanting to know exactly how much of the precious metals are in your specific piece of jewelry uh, that uh, hopefully is stamped to show you what the purity is, uh, then that's a breakdown of the percentage of precious metals in your piece of jewelry, all right? Uh, so with platinum palladium, it's a little different. Uh, it will not go off of uh, 14K, 18K, 10K, and so forth. Uh, and, and this is a little off subject, but uh, just an FYI, when you are talking about metals and carrots, it starts with a K. If you're talking about gems, loose gems, then it'll start with a C. So the carrots for loose gems is a C, and again, for metals is, is a K, all right? Uh, so, so if it's platinum and palladium, uh, if you see 900, then you'll divide it by 1,000. So sometimes uh, you'll see some uh, pieces of jewelry that's made of platinum palladium with a, a decimal sign, and sometimes it's not listed with a decimal sign. Uh, but either way, it's the same idea. Uh, what you want to do here is you want to divide it by 1,000 if you see it without the decimal sign. So uh, 900 divided by 1,000, is 90% and 950 divided by 1000 is 95% uh, pure platinum and palladium uh, and then the rest is mixed with other types of alloy. All right, uh, so with that said, that's all it basically means um, so that you can kind of know what you're putting your money on, how much um, uh, you know, you're know you getting in return for what you're paying in terms of the purity of gold and other mixtures of, uh, of metal that's included into that specific piece of jewelry. All right, guys, so if you do like what you see, um, again, you know we're doing this just for you. Definitely leave comments below. Let us know what you like. Let us know what you don't like. Uh, at the same time, let us know what you want to see and we may make a video just for you. Okay, so hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.